Hi guys, Veggie Gamer back, and we're watching uh, the Order of the Phoenix Harry Potter Veggie Nights. Very very excited. Uh, very very excited. Uh, blah, 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 restart. Hi guys, Veggie Gamer back, and we're checking out Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Veggie Nights. Uh, very very excited. Is that forks? Is it talking about forks? I'd imagine it's talking about forks. Very nice. But either way, so sorry that these do take me a while to get out. Very nice. I have a lot going on in RL at the moment, but also I like to make sure that I edit the YouTube version up really really well, so I keep in all the good bits and so on, so we can discuss them in the comments and so on. So I do apologize that I do take a while guys. I don't have an editor and so I had to do it all myself which, which I actually enjoy guys, but I am quite slow at it. So I hope you understand um, A few things to get to very nice. First of all, I want to start off with an apology I want to apologize to Pravati Patel Because since uh, <laughs> Since uh, Philosopher's Stone, I've been calling her Fatty Patel because that's what it sounds like Neville said But no uh, that character that was in the last one Goblet of Fire was actually Pravati Patel and that is who Neville is talking about in Philosopher's Stone when, when saying about her, Hermione's in the Lou's crying won't come out. Uh, yes, Pravati Patel, not Fatty Patel. I've literally been waiting this entire time for a character called Fatty to show up. Oh, hang on. I'm not wearing my usual hat which I wear for these uh, videos. What hat am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing an LA Rams hat. Very nice. Super Bowl champions. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I'll go change my hat real quick. So guys, as always, you go, you've you been giving me some fascinating comments uh, in, in the comments. <laughs> Seriously, some very, very interesting information. Um, one, like, fascinating bit is uh, the, Crouch, the Crouch family um, backstory and stuff that happens after a Goblet of Fire, guys. I don't want to say what it is, just in case if some of you haven't read the books. But when I cover the books, which I do intend on doing, guys, I think I know how I'm going to do it now. We'll get to that, but it, it, it's it's a it's a really sad story around. Well, I refer to him as Trigger and uh, Doctor Who, but Barty and Barty, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, fascinating, guys. Thank you so much for filling me in. One thing which I got a lot of comments for, and I have seen it now, um, is that in the book there is a line where did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Said um, Dumbledore calmly. And yet in the movie, he's like literally jumping off steps, coming in, Did you grow in this? Uh, that was a fascinating choice. I, I, I gotta say guys, I love that scene. I thought that, uh, I, I appreciate the fact that Dumbledore is actually a scary guy. Because, you know, uh, maybe it's just me guys, but at school I did find some teachers very, very scary. And they could just flip like that. And so, that I thought was a very, very nice choice i don't know if it's that loyal to the character per se because i've read the books yet but like i say guys i'm going to be doing a book review video soon guys i'm going to be posting uh the it's going to be in parts i'm going to be doing it per book obviously um i will be listening to audiobooks i did say in a previous video that i will be checking out the jim dale video uh, um, jim dale version of the audiobooks but quite frankly, guys, you guys have overruled me. I've had so many comments saying, no, you, you should really check out the Steve Fry version. I'm fine with that, guys. What I may do in the first video is like listen to a bit of both and just like give my opinions on the differences. I like Jim Dale because like yeah, he, he was in Peach Dragon, which was like a, a movie which I saw when I was very, very young. <laughs> um, he's great in it. He's a really funny villain. But Steve Wright, I'm all up for checking out as well. So I think that that's how we're going to do it. And I will be trialing a video on the Patreon just to see how it goes. And if the Patreon like say, yeah, this, this works out well, we'll go with that. If not, back to the drawing board and we'll try something else. Saying that about the Patreons, guys, thank you all so much for signing up, those who you, who have. If you sign up to the Patreon, guys, you can uh, check out the full reactions to these to these uh, reactions. You will need your own copy of the movies, though, guys. Um, but yeah, you don't. There's no minimum, guys. I don't. I don't like have like a, a minimum amount that you had to pay. Pay the smallest amount that you want, and then you get access to all the full length reactions that we do, and also some early access stuff, guys. Like I say, with, with, with this book reaction, it's kind of early access, but it's kind of like a looking for feedback thing. And so if you've got uh, opinions that you think you might have about that, let me know, know there. It'll be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, never feel like you need to back this Patreon, guys. It's absolutely fine if you, if you can't afford it or it's not for your, your sort of thing. It's absolutely fine, guys. It's just there for those who want to. I will be actually. I will be asking the audience in general as well, but I might trial a, a poll on the Patreon as well to see what we want to do next after Harry Potter. 
Like I say, I will be asking the channel as a whole as well, though, but I might like put one out on Patreon just to see what the vibe is with, 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 with you guys. But uh, like I say, there will be one on the channel as well. Um, the big names that I keep on getting suggested, guys, Lord of the Rings. I've said before, I've seen Fellowship of the Rings, the, the standard edition, long ago. Um, and I loved it. I just never got round to watching the rest. I love the soundtrack, quite frankly. I, I, as I remember, after watching it, I basically went and got the soundtrack straight away for it. And so, um, Lord of the Rings, Hunger Games, which I know basically nothing about. I've had suggestions to watch New Who, especially after David Tennant showing up in Goblet of Fire. And Fantastic Beasts, guys, which is something that we will get to. Especially because of the Hufflepuff pride. But I don't know if we're going to do it next if, or we want to take a break from Potter. And as always, guys, if there's anything else you want me to check out, please do let me know. Seriously, guys, I've had a lot of suggestions. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, all sorts of different things to, to, uh, to check out. So any other suggestions, do let me know in the comments. I have seen a lot of stuff, guys, and I'm not going to fake a reaction. I was basically raised on Star Wars. And so I've seen all the movies. I admittedly haven't seen the new TV shows like Mandalorian and all that sort of thing. There's, there's a lot of things that I've seen, but there's also a lot of things which I haven't. So let me know in the comments, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be fascinated to see what we can actually cover. As always, this intro is taking way too long, guys, so let's get through my points. A favourite character from Goblet of Fire, I think it has to be Cedric. It's a tough one, though, guys, because he really isn't in it that much. But you take that scene where, it, where like, uh, Harry's telling him about the dragons, and, like, he's like, hey, by the way, about the badges, I've, I've asked him not to wear them. And when he gives uh, Harry the clue, putting the egg in the, in the, in the bath, bath and everything... Um, I I wanted more of that, quite frankly. So I think I've got to go with Cedric. McGonagall definitely gets a shout out, though, guys. I thought she was actually hilarious in Goblet of Fire, and so I'm hoping we get some more comedy McGonagall in this one as well. Uh, go through it, go through it, guys. Obviously, no Dursleys in the last one. Have we seen the last of the Dursleys? I don't think so. They may not be in this one, but I'm sure we'll see. Dudley down the line, maybe? Uh, I'd be surprised if we don't throw to him again. I don't think we're going to get any more Quidditch matches, guys. That's just my prediction right there. Um, Pumpkin Pasty, will she be, re be returning? Or was she a one and done? I'm not sure, guys. I know that there is another Ravenclaw coming up at some point, which, uh, which you know, not that you can only have one character from each house and everything, but um, I, I don't know if we'll see Pumpkin Pasty again. I, I liked her, guys, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if she actually returns. I have been told in the comments that I am going to both... Well, no, I've, got, I've, I've got a lot of comments saying I will love Defense Against the Dark Arts Teacher. Uh, I've also got a lot of comments saying I will hate see Defense Against the Dark Arts Teacher. So, I have no idea, guys. I'm guessing they're not going to be uh, in, a, in, a, in at least in a job at the end of this movie. And one more very, very bizarre thing before we end the longest intro of all time is uh, obviously I, I, I've been avoiding spoilers when it comes to uh, these Harry Potter movies and everything. But yesterday, just like the day before I recording this, guys, I was on Twitter and a Mind, which is like a charity in the UK, posted out a tweet saying about like a, a like a fun run or like a 5k run. That's happening very near where I live, guys. In fact, I used to work in that area as well. Um, very near. Um, saying that, there, that there's this 5k run happening and hey, you get to uh, go past the tree that's in, in uh, Order of the Phoenix. I don't know what that means, guys. Apparently there's a tree in it. I'm guessing it's not the one big willow because I think I would have noticed if the one big willow was near where I live, guys. But apparently there's a tree in this movie, guys. Massive spoilers! But apparently it's very close to where I live and so maybe, you know, maybe sometime I can go and visit that tree. I know, I, I don't know what I honestly don't know what to expect. Also, uh, 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 most of the, uh, I'd say 99% of the feedback that I get on these videos, guys, is that they, that they love the bits where I pause the movie, give my thoughts, give my predictions, and then we continue on. That being said, I do get some comments saying, hey, dude, your, your videos are long enough as, as they are. And I get that, guys. I completely get that. So from now on, when I start these pauses, I will have a little thing on the screen. saying skip to this point to continue the movie so i apologize to anyone that gets frustrated with those i'm new to doing this guys but like i say most feedback that i do, do is uh, that i do get is saying that they, they really like it so i'll put in the timestamp so you don't have to listen to me waffle even more than i already do order of the phoenix i'm guessing it's forks um and let's find out guys they get darker as they go guys and so i'm ready for some sh shocking moments right here let's go it looks like we're starting off. Oh, Vernon's back, guys. It looks like. Oh, it's like a drought? 
Oh, Harry's already thinking about his blooming parents, isn't he? So I wonder if this drought is Voldemort related. This one deserved it. Yeah. What the heck happened to Dudley? Who said you're your boyfriend? <laughs> oh no. He's going to kill me, Mum! She dead. <laughs> this is horrible, dude. Guys, jeez. Yeah. You know what this means, dude. Doesn't matter if your friends are laughing. They won't be laughing when your head turns into a freaking horse. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Oh no, it's Dud. Oh no, Dudley's not gonna. We're not gonna start off with a Dudley death, surely. A Dudley Dudley death. 3D. Okay, well, at least your, your football pitch will be looking a little bit healthier. Oh, I bet it smells of pee down here. S serious? He makes lights go weird, doesn't he? Huh? Uh, oh, that's not that's not a Dementor. Oh, Dudley, dumbass! Are they Dementor? They, they they are Dementors. Serious or somebody? Uh, Hermione? Ron? Somebody? Dudley? No! Oh my god, wow, what spell was that? Smack him in the face? Oh no, quickly do something, Harry! I was gonna say, if you're not got a range attack, thank goodness. I should say, guys, I found out my Patronus in a video a couple of days ago. It'll be in the playlist on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Look at Dudley's face, guys. Dudley's become a right dick. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, I thought we were gonna see the Blimmer's skull snake thing. He's a comedian! A, is it Miles Jupp? Is that his name? Oh, Petrini, you're not going to be happy. Oh, what are you eating there, Vernon? Our boy has gone yumpy. Yumpy? Oh, hello. He's got to be scared of birds. That's, that's Blumen Ron's but, um, one. It's not a howler, is it? Dear Mr. Potter, the Ministry has received intelligence. So cool. You performed the Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. If Saved you his are life. Expelled. This Star Fox extra's well, getting a bit mouthy, ain't she? Justice. <laughs> Justice. That was amazing. Oh my God, what is she wearing? I know it's hot, love, but geez. He's actually been expelled then? <laughs> I love her then. Oh, God. Oh, I hate the fact that Hedwig has to stay in that blooming cage. Saved his life. I know that Harry can't talk about this sort of thing much, but he could have at least tried to explain that he was saving his life. I don't know. They wouldn't have listened, would they? I didn't expect this, guys. This has really haunted his freaking nightmares, hasn't it? I didn't expect to see Cedric on this, guys. I didn't expect to see Cedric at all. Dob Dobby? I've been making a lot of in inaccurate Dobby uh, predictions lately, guys. Um, it's got to, it's, it's got to be Dobby, right? Who else could it possibly be? Game, what? The, wait, 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 what? Professor Moody. And Game of Thrones. He looks so young here. He's in Game of Thrones, guys. She's a uh, wildling. My God, that's so awesome to see in this. Don't call me Nymphadora. Nymph, I, I, I'm writing it down, but I won't read say it out loud. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect to see Moody at all. Guys, I did predict it at the start because I didn't expect to see Moody at all ever again. I thought that was it. Oh my goodness, has that guy got a hand, like a <laughs> handlebars on his? That's, that's OP. Come on now. He's got a reclining broom. Okay, that's Moody. You've gone up in my estimation, love. Love? Hey, how's this apartment, guys? The Elizabeth Tower, not Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. That's one of those boring facts that every English person will tell you every single time when you call that thing Big Ben. <laughs> oh, is this nine and, nine and three quarters? <laughs> House nine and three quarters? Oh, hello. So her hair changes per... Sirius is back. I just made a joke. Was I looping? Yes! <laughs> Oh, I love Lupin, guys. He's actually one of my absolute top tier favourite characters. <laughs> I'm really happy Lupin's back. Yes! Oh, she doesn't look very happy, guys. Uh, Dudley? <laughs> I hope not. It kind of looks like Dudley's face. Dudley? No, that's that, that's Dudley's daddy. Dudley? <laughs> so all those in the jars were like ex-employees then, I guess. Employees, slaves, I guess. <gasps> 
Thanks, Hermione. I didn't yeah. like these clean trousers anyway. The Order of the Phoenix. Oh! It's a secret society. Oh! Dumb Gone all summer without a scrap of news. And what? Only Dumbledore made us swear not to tell you anything. What's happened? Dumbledore. I worry that something really bad happened, guys. That's really disgusting. So the whole gang's here, guys. Crookshanks, Crookshanks you're not helping, love. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say, I'm delighted to see Sirius as well. I'm just so happy that Lupin's back, guys. I didn't think we'd see him again. That's peculiar. I don't understand. What is the Ministry of Magic got again? The minister thinks Dumbledore's after his job. Fudge isn't in his right mind. It's been twisted and warped, I fear. Oh, Fudge has gone rogue, guys. A weapon. No, that's enough. He's trying to try and t so turn Harry, isn't he? Nothing. Voldemort's raising an army, then I want to fight. Oh, Sirius looked happy with that. Intriguing, guys. This is this is not how I expected this movie to start at all. Oh, hello, the Daily Grind. Not stepping to the left, I notice. Unbelievable. Staying right in the middle. You'd get people shouting at you if you did that in London, guys. Oh, hello. We're going underground. This is not Diagon Alley. This is uh, this is amazing. That's what this is. What is this? It's like an underground hub of some kind. Daily Prophet always getting mentioned. Dumbledore or daft or or, or dangerous? Did they say? This is beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. This looks so cool. Oh, there he is. Now, you guys have been telling me that Fudge is higher up than I thought, guys. He's actually like a very... He's like the Prime Minister of, of, of the Magic Realm, you know? Okay, well, good luck, Harry. Nice suit, by the way. Could have worn, worn a tie. Right. Oh, this is gonna freaking help, in it? Are you kidding me? I mean, he already knows he's not gonna get a fair trial. Oh, good. This isn't scary. James Potter is... Oliver's Percival... Wolfric. Brian Dumbledore. Brian? That's a surprise. Time and place. I arrived at the ministry three hours early. <laughs> you ain't gonna get round Dumbledore, dude. A Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. To save his life. Deny produce no witnesses of the event. Pardon me, Minister. Haven't even asked. We can. Yeah. Please describe. Bless her. Well, Oh, I recognise her in the middle. Very large, and the other rather skinny. Not the boys, the Dementors. Oh God, Harry's getting banged up the slabber, guys, which means going to prison. I'm sure I must have misunderstood you. You were suggesting that the Ministry had ordered the attack. Well, I'm sure the Ministry will be mounting inquiry on why they mounted an attack without authorization. Yeah, Fudge. Of course, there is someone who might be behind the attack. Him. Him. The evidence that the Dark Lord has returned. He's not. He's in his pocket. He has to be, or is he literally just nuts now? Those in favour of clearing the accused. Oh yes, thank you. But does Fudge have like an extra? <laughs> no, it's Dumbledore didn't put his hand up. Cleared of all charges. Fantastic. Nice one, Dumbledore. Blow the entire operation. So cute, Padford. Padford. Oh. Serious. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought it was a new character. It's gorgeous, though. Uh, okay, I've just called Serious Gorgeous. I don't care. This was taken. Oh, I, I saw uh, Wormtail there. And Hagrid. Neville's parents. They suffered a fate worse than death. Oh, bless. So sad. Uh, what a great picture, though. What a great gift, guys. We need to pause that and have a look at that picture at some point. Oh, uh, Voldemort's gone Hitman style. Nice suit. That's terrifying. Oh, he's, he, okay. Harry's actually gone a bit nuts, guys. I wonder if it's something to do with, I mean, he was having the nightmares before, but he is seeing a lot of strange things here. I really missed that, that woman's name, but yeah, she's, I, I recognize that actress in, in the courtroom, guys. Well, you know, he, he's, he's been, he's been cleared. Ah, oh, Funkin' fast, he's back, guys. It would have funk it. It would have funk it. Cho, I apologise for calling a pumpkin bastard, guys. Hey! Hi, Neville. Hi, Neville. What the hell is that thing you're holding? Uh, hi. You a new student here? What is it? It's a lovely horse. Only Harry can see it? It doesn't... It looks kind of undead. Who's in the back? I mean, they've got lovely hair, whoever it is. Hi, man. You're just as sane as I am. 
that's not a good thing, look. You're holding the magazine upside down. Everyone, this is Looney Love. Looney Lovegood. Looney Lovegood. Keeps away the narvels. You're nuts. Luna Lovegood has entered the fold, guys. Ravenclaw, I know that already. Yes, one of my subscribers used to be called that, and, um, and I know that they were a Harry Potter character, but yes, I didn't know they were completely bat s insane, though. Our new defense against the dark arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. Umbridge. Uh, what? What? Do it my hearing. How lovely to see happy faces smiling up. We're They're not smiling, love. Progress prohibited. This is a creepy performance, guys. I don't like that smile at all. She doesn't look like your typical bad guy, but I'm putting her in the column evil. Filch is back with Miss Norris. It means the ministry's interfering at Hogwarts. That's not a good thing. That's really not a good thing. Hi, guys. Uh, so it's Harry's being outcast again, and. Plotter. I mean, it's a good headline, to be fair. Is that from in uh, Rita Skeeter doing? What's happened, Seamus? It's Man weird for. Ch me to come back this year. The Daily Prophet's been saying a lot of things about you, Harry. Oh well, I guess you should read the Prophet then, like your stupid mother. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Don't you dare talk about my mother like that. Are you kidding me? They you think that he had something to do with on. Cedric's death. Do you believe the rubbish he's come out with about you know who? Yeah, I do. Good on you, Ron. J I didn't expect that out of Seamus at all, guys. Jeez. Seamus was bang out of order, mate. He was. I'm amazed that people think that he had something to do with Cedric's death. Right? This is the freaking ministry doing this. Oh, Ron was being a d good dude, Harry. You, you don't need to be biting his head off. Uh... Oh, this fatty Patel and her sister. I don't know the name of the sister, I'm afraid, guys. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing that was uh, Umbridge. Yes. <laughs> good morning, children. Good morning. Fail to do so, and the consequences may be... Severe. Death? You will be following a carefully structured... Is that Defense Against the Dark Arts for Idiots? There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. Well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. Uh... We're not going to use magic. That a theoretical knowledge would be sufficient to get you through your examinations. And How? Theory Very interesting. That. Who do you imagine wants to attack children like yourself? You? I, Lord Voldemort. Oh, God. Not even Neville believes him, dude. Now let me make this quite plain. What a performance by this lady. Cedric Diggory's death was a tragic accident. It was murder. Voldemort killed him. You must know that. Enough! Wow. See me later, Mr. Potter. Oh, that'll be fun. I don't like this manipulation, guys. This is horrible. They're not doing it out of fear. They're doing it because they're freaking bent, surely. Corrupt, I should say. Oh, nice plates, though. I can't put my finger on what I've seen her in, guys, but I've definitely seen her in many things. And but I'm, she's what a performance by her in this so far. Mm -hmm. More of a dog guy, I'm afraid, love. Got a picture of fudge on her desk. You're going to be doing some lines for me today, Mr. Potter. Really? Wow. Okay. That, 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 I didn't know it was that kind of party. Oh, that kind of line. Ignore me. I must not tell lies for as long as it takes for the message to sink in. <gasps> It could take a while, love. I'm like waiting for it to freaking snap. Uh, uh oh, what? No, what is happening? Oh my god. Not tell lies? It's right on. Oh my god, that is dark. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You deserve to be punished. Oh my god. Don't you, Mr. Potter? This isn't actually Voldemort, like. Like, dressed up as her, because her performance is genuinely scary, guys. <laughs> They're all sweet to get people ill. Dumbledore's got enough on his mind right now. No, he doesn't. Anyway, I don't want to give Umbridge the satisfaction. The parents knew about this. Yeah, well, I haven't got any of those, have I, Ron? Oh, God. Give Ron a break, Harry, seriously. Jeez, I don't like Harry going things alone, guys. This really is giving me Chambers uh, vibes. And Ron's being a, Ron and Hermione being really decent. Winter is definitely on the way. Huh? Game of Thrones. Did it say that Hagrid has gone gone away somewhere? Is that the creature that was leading Luna's cart at the start? That rhymed. Oh, there it is! It's a cutie! Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's there's several of them. Is Luna gonna be here? Is this her posse? She's blooming here, guys. Popular character right here. Oh. 
I, I don't approve of that. Shortly all my shoes have mysteriously disappeared. I suspect Narvals are behind them. Right. So everyone is nuts in this. They're called pestrels. Pestrels. They're quite gentle, really, but people avoid them because they're a bit... Scary? Different. They're very... Actually, that is adorable. How cute is that little baby one? They can only be seen by people who've seen death. Go on, Luna. You've known someone who's died, then? My mum. One day, one of her spells went badly wrong. Oh, Sorry. God. Yes, it was rather horrible. And he who must not be named is back. And you fought him? Thanks. No offence, love, but you it's believing him isn't going to convince many other people. If it's just you alone, you're not as much of a threat. Yeah, very true. Uh, words of... Thanks, Lu... Oh. Thanks, Luna. That was actually really smart. Luna's cool. Oh, we did... So, so that thing, those things aren't vegetarian, then. Good to know. Nor's rotten, apparently. <laughs> the breakfast always looks so good on this. Can I join you? Yes, Harry, come on! Oh, not this. It sounds as if you're questioning my authority. Yes. Is to question the ministry, the minister himself. Yes, you're all I'm pricks. God, this reminds me of a few things at the moment, guys. It's not going to that. Hogwarts are far worse than I feared. This she seeks education reform. Oh, gold. Falling standards at Hogwarts School. That's uh, Weasley there. That's older Weasley. With with Fudge. Was he reporting? Was he? Oh, hello. You've been in this post how long exactly? Oh dear. It looks like she's getting kicked out. Ah, I gotta kill him. Okay, that, that, that one's fine. First, the defense against the dark arts post. Yes. But you were unsuccessful? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. You know what? Ah! <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing. Snape, seriously. Okay, I'm starting to love this character now, guys. I love that. <laughs> I don't know why that, that scene with Snape has really tickled me pink. Well, literally pink here. Oh, okay. Filch has gone corrupt as well. Please predict something. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, no. She's getting slit. She's out of there, guys. Uh, so? Oh, Emma Thompson. You poor... Poor cow. You are in grave danger. Defense against the dark. I can't teach love. We all know that. Oh, Emma Thompson. I can't remember her name, guys. I'm so sorry. She's out on her ear. Oh, no. Yes, she is. Oh, no. This is so sad. I actually didn't expect to see her back, but, you know, it looks like, you know, it looks like we won't be seeing her again after this. Doing this publicly is not a good thing. Oh, no. Oh, so sad. I mean, Hermione's never trusted that teacher, but... Oh, no! Something you'd like to say, dear? Three fantastic actresses there, guys. Like, fantastic. Seriously. Oh, here we go. Come on, now. What can he do? He can't do nothing! It's due to escort Sybil back inside. You have the right to dismiss my teachers. You do not, however, have the authority to banish him from the grounds. That power remains with the headmaster. For now. Good on you, Dumbledore. Poor woman. This is going in such a surprising direction, guys. I this, I hate this sort of corruption, guys. It's actually making me tense. It really is. It's all like blanking out what's fair and good and like what's happening in front of your eyes for some sort of freaking corrupted, horrible reason. We're not learning how to pass our owls. She's taking over the entire school. Pass our owls. I know what it means, guys. It's just a funny sentence. Uh, that these disappearances are the work of Sirius Black. Oh, of course, he's still seen as guilty, isn't he? What's she doing? Oh, he's upgraded, guys. I don't think that Fudge is paranoid. I think he's corrupt. It looks like you're on your own. Thanks, Sirius. Oh, thanks, Weather. We really need that. If Ahmed refuses to teach us how, we need someone who will. Oh, Moody. Moody or, Moody or Snape. Let's notice Harry's... Cheekbones are on fire in this movie. I just noticed in that one shot. Snape or, or Mo Moody, ideally, I guess. Who'd want to be taught by me? I'm a nutter, remember? Can't be any worse than old Toadface. What? Thanks, Ron. <laughs> I'm here for you, mate. Go Rams. Thought it was Hi. So, one who's had real experience defending themselves against the dark arts. That's very Why? true. Because you know who's back in Toshpot. So he's there. Dustpot! It's a tree you can produce for the Tronus charm. I hope we can trust Luna. 
The truth is, most of that was just luck. Yeah, that's Harry's thing. I didn't know what I was doing. In school, if you make a mistake, you can just try again tomorrow. But when you're a second away from being murdered, you don't know what that's like. No, oh, God. I'm glad they bring up the Cedric thing, guys, because it would have absolutely torn them to, to, torn to shreds. Oh, they're signing up, guys! Hell yeah! What happens if Ambridge does wipe out? Who cares? It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are you, and what have you done with them? I was gonna say, that's not a idea at all! No one positive thing that came from today? Cho couldn't take her eyes off you, could she? There we go, guys! I'm glad that they still have this uh, Harry still uh, interested in Cho! Oh, man! It's Filch, like... Doing his her dirty work. I don't like that. I really like Filch. Oh, this isn't good. We did see something about the, his his parents at the start. I wouldn't go in there, Neville. Please don't go in there. I found the room's requirement. Requirement only appears when a person has real need of it. So, say you really needed the toy. <laughs> Run. That is the general idea. Oh, really? It actually, does do that. Okay, I, I apologize. Uh, that's, um, uh, Doctor Doom, isn't it? So they can train here, then! Spider. Nice one, Neville! Ah! Okay, not so nice one, Neville. Swish and flick. Expelliarmus. Filch! I don't like- No, <laughs> Filch is amazing, guys! He's absolutely one of my favourite characters. No, Filch! Don't tell him about the room! Oh, Nigel. Oh, poor little Nigel. Oh! oh he's going into the fire! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That would have been dark. Nice one, Nigel. Oh, loving Seymour Felch. Oh, that looks t tasty. It's interesting, guys, because you guys have been telling me how, like, Ron is actually, like, quite... <laughs> Stupefied, that's what the guys on the, at the start of the last one were doing. You guys have been telling me that more in the books, Ron's really resentful of his family. It's good man, isn't it? <laughs> Intentional. Oh, Felch. Um, yeah, how uh, Ron... It's like je almost jealous of of uh, of his family, or like you. I, I need to I need to check out the books. I need to check out the books. They're using a back entrance. All students will submit to questioning. Oh no! This is great. It's like a little rebellion. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh hello. Making the moves. I see. Ah! Okay. Ah, <laughs> bless him. Is that a picture of the queen there? I love this guy so much. Oh no! No, they're gonna make him ill! <laughs> oh no! Oh, please, no! So cool. Oh no! She's got her own little army! Believing in yourself. Oh! Hufflepuff! Think of it this way students, if they can do it, why not us? What a leader Harry's become! This is a. This, okay, guys, I'm thoroughly enjoying this movie. I've got to say that now. Oh, Malfoy and the gang are going to try and get in there. Go quicker, go quicker. Shut, 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 shut. It's going to be a different room. It's going to be a different room. Please. It is. Fantastic. Oh, who's the mouse? Fantastic. Nice one, Ginny. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Ginny's a bit scary. I'm, gl I'm glad that they're still continuing this with um, Cho. I, I, I'm sorry I keep calling a pumpkin pasty, guys. It's like the grunt thing in the first movie. Yes, Neville. Yay. Fantastic, Neville. He's freaking huge, guys! I wonder when they casted him. They're expecting him to stay quite short. Well done, everyone. They even look like teachers. Look at Hermione's hair. That was such a great sequence. I loved it. I can't stop smiling, guys. That was brilliant. I loved that. Oh, is that a picture of Cedric? Did I think that Cedric looked like the Queen then? What a great teacher Harry is. I wonder if he's going to end up being a teacher. Time to make the moves. You guys should know. Is that really a picture of Cedric? I thought Cedric was the queen. Anyway, it's, it's worth it. It's just... He was really good. He was a brilliant. Voldemort was better. It's actually Wormtail, to be fair. Mistletoe. Oh my goodness. Did she make that up here? She's making the moves now. Turn the picture of Cedric around first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Nurgle's... Oh! Okay, I'm not calling a pumpkin past anymore, guys. That's done now. Good on Cho. Good on Harry. Again, that picture of Cedric staring at them. It's a little bit. Yeah. Well, good for them, guys. I hope it's not 
start off something going ter terribly wrong. I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. <laughs> Being a bit of snogging would cheer her up. All right, Ron. She's feeling sad about Cedric, and therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him. Yeah. She's frightened of failing her OWLs because she's so busy worrying about everything else. All right, Hermione, getting in her head, aren't you? It's because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. What's wrong with teaspoons? Ron's face is amazing. <laughs> I got to say, guys, I am thoroughly enjoying this one. I'm really liking the dynamic. Uh, the stuff earlier on with Umbridge getting her way around Hogwarts and everything was genuinely getting me mad. It was like really, um, you know, in, in, in the way it's meant to. I was getting really frustrated with the way that she was just absolutely walking over everyone. Um, the poor tea leaf teacher, that was heartbreaking. Um, luckily that she hasn't actually been thrown out of her home. She just lost her job, hopefully temporarily. Hopefully she'll get, get it back by the end. Umbridge is a great performance, guys. I've looked her up, guys, and I know her from numerous things, but nothing that particularly stands out, though, weirdly enough. So, um, she's, she, I knew that she was a good actress, but in this, she has been fire, guys. She has been really excellent. It's a cre it's a it's like a really annoying but really creepy performance. She's doing great, guys. I personally don't think that she's. I don't think that she's scared. I don't think Fudge is scared. I think they've both been corrupted, and we saw Lucius and Fudge t talking earlier on, so they can't be blind to the fact. Dumbledore has Brian in in his name. He did say it's a long name in in uh in uh which it was the third movie, uh Prisoner Ask Man. Um Nurgles are very 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 interesting. We're hearing about them, but we don't actually know what they are yet. Uh it's not Nurgles as in uh, Warhammer, I'm guessing, the really creepy, weird, horrible creatures. A bit like fun filch like earlier on. I gotta say, guys, that heart that kind of broke my heart. It kind of broke my heart, Filch working for Umbridge. I'm hoping that this isn't like, you know the way he goes from here on out, because quite frankly, guys, and I don't think it's going to happen now. I said in an earlier movie that I'm actually really intrigued to learn more about Filch. I don't think we actually are at this point, guys, but I think he's such a... The concept of his character is fascinating, and quite frankly, the performance of this, the actor of him, I know, I knew him previously as Walder Frey, from Game of Thrones, which obviously he did well after this. He's absolutely brilliant in this role. Talking about Game of Thrones, guys, I feel like her name in Game of Thrones was something like Sheer. I can't remember her name. But, uh, Nymphador? Nif I, I, I can't. Uh, Dora? Nymphadora. I think that's what Moody called her, and she got angry, and her hair changed colour. We haven't seen much of her since. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice to see her. I'm not, I haven't seen her in anything else, guys, so it was really nice to see her doing other stuff. Obviously, this is, like, well before Game of Thrones when she, when, when she was in it, but, um,. Hoping to see more of her. The Cedric stuff, I'm really, really... I didn't think we'd hear about Cedric ever again. I actually didn't, guys. But when you think about the concept, you know, what actually happened and what Harry went through and everything, of course we're going to hear about him again. Cho's still here as well. I mean, Cho and Harry having that kiss, guys. I don't want to make any predictions, but that does feel like a, you know, I'm hoping it's not going to be a romance that, you know, was not meant to be, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, Umbridge is absolutely brilliant. I've got to say, guys, I don't have to say, but I'm going to say this. I was in a, uh, I was in like a, a, uh, like a, a shop a couple of days ago. I was looking at the magazines and I saw there's a couple, a couple of Harry Potter Lego magazines. And I, I, I saw that on the front, they had like little figures and little figure, figure on, on this one was, um, Cedric, which I thought, okay, I kind of want to get that. It was eight quid though. I can't, I can't spend eight quid on a Lego, Lego fig, figure, guys. It came with a magazine, magazine as well, but I wouldn't be allowed to look, read it because of the spoilers and stuff. It was funny though, because his face was like really angry. He's like Cedric going, like that. Maybe you have to see what happened with Harry and Joe just now. But also on the, on the other Lego magazine, um, I saw, oh, it's Harry. He's like there with his wand and everything, Dumbledore and everything. Oh, there's a character with a pink hat. No idea who that is. I don't know. So this is Umbridge, guys. So she was on like, like the cover of this Lego magazine. Obviously, it was all Lego, and so it didn't actually look like the character. But I'm pretty convinced that that must, be, must have been who it was that I saw. This tree mystery hasn't come up yet. I haven't seen any trees that I recognise yet, and I think. Have we even seen it? We've seen trees, but... Also, Hagrid's um, 
away on duty, which is interesting. I feel like we did see him. We saw him in the photograph, didn't we? Unfortunately, I can't look up that photograph now, guys. I would love to look it up, but just in case if there's any spoilers, guys, I don't know if, like, maybe it could be a big twist, but maybe Umbridge is in that picture. I mean, we've got everyone else in there. We've got Lupin in there. So glad to see Lupin back. I'm sorry if my reaction is a bit over the top, guys, but I think I said it in previous reaction. I feel like he would be a one-and-done character, but I'm so glad that he's back, guys. Uh, there's something about him, guys. He's up there with my absolute favourite characters. Uh, talking about favourite characters, guys, that bit when a bridge in front of the shoots is like, so Snape, uh, you applied for the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it says, but you didn't get the role. Obviously. <laughs> that was amazing. Why would why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't Snape get that role? Because he is good, guys. You know, he did the stuff against Sirius in the previous one. Sirius is properly uh, a wanted man now. Uh, so I hope he stays in hiding. But what a treat that scene was with all of them at the start, guys. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so no Hagrid, possibly for the rest of this movie, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Dementors I didn't expect to see back. Passing your owls is one of the greatest senses I've ever heard. Um, there is a sitcom, guys, called Is It Legal, which I remember seeing, like, long ago. And this Umbridge actress is, was in it. Weirdly enough, I thought that um, Cedric's dad from um, Goblet of Fire was also in that, but he wasn't. He was in Drop the Dead Donkey, I think it was called. To anyone outside of the UK, uh, and uh, anyone from the UK who isn't of a certain age, is going to have no idea what I'm talking about, guys. But yeah, it's, it's British actors turning up. I do get a lot of comments saying, wow, I can't believe how many of these guys you recognise and everything. Guys, if it was Hollywood actors, I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't have a chance. People that have been in British sitcoms, I'm your man. Seriously, I really am. So... Uh, this is the first time that Is It Legal has been mentioned, in, like, ever. In, like, in, like, the last, like, you know, a long time. But, yes, she was in a sitcom called Is It Legal a long, long time ago. I feel like Longbottom's parents, that, that, that was... These movies definitely drop in hints, guys. Um, Longbottom's parents, Neville's parents, uh, I feel like that's going to be paying off in this. Like I said during the reaction, do you reckon that they thought, okay, we've got this guy, he looks perfect for Neville. He, 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 looks, he looks a perfect state of, of Neville. And you know what, chances are he'll probably like, grow up to be like maybe a bit shorter than Harry, that would be perfect. Four movies later, he's like seven foot tall, towering over everyone else. I love him. I love, I love me some Neville, guys. I love me some Neville. Luna is a character who... Um, I got a lot of questions around, guys. I really do. Like I said, one of my subscribers, shout out if you're watching, used to be called Luna Lovegood. And um, I, I, I think during a live stream years ago, um, it, we were like discussing usernames and they explained that their, that, their, that their username was a character from Harry Potter. And so I knew that this character was popular. I didn't realise she was going to be quite, well, I don't know. She's probably not insane. She does seem a bit insane. But, you know, she can see Nuggles. And so can Harry, and so I wonder. Oh, is it is it the kiss of death, as in like the spell? Because apparently Harry was the only person who survived that. But obviously Harry can ha, has parcel tongue. I mean, quite frankly, she could be related to the Malfoys. Quite frankly, the, the way she looks, but um, loving her character, and um, I feel like we can trust her. Her famous last words there. That scene where uh, Harry and Hermione and Ron are basically like pitching this lesson to the rest of the students. From there up to now, I couldn't get that smile off my face. That made me so happy. And Harry, I hope that at the end of all these movies, uh, I, I hope that they all become teachers. I think they're absolutely brilliant. They really are, guys. Particularly Hermione. Hermione's been great in this one. She really actually has. I gotta say, guys, I'm really enjoying this movie. And I love this whole rebellion thing. I'm sure it's been I'm sure it's been done in many movies where it's like a school where the students like you know, not a full-out rebellion, but it's like you know, it's a re re rebelling against the machine, you know, raging against the machine. And I'm loving this in Harry Potter. Didn't expect anything like this. Harry's a great teacher, Hermione's a great teacher, and Ron was there as well. 
Okay, Ron's probably a great teacher as well. But this is the thing with Ron, guys. You guys have been telling me how... I, I think I worded it wrong during the reaction, so I, I apologise. I think he's resentful of being a part of this family where everyone seems to be... I don't want to say better, but you know, better, maybe better at magic, or maybe more famous, famous at magic. You know, obviously with his other brothers, including siblings which we we haven't even met. Also, that was definitely the oldest uh, Weasley sibling that we've seen with Fudge earlier on. I couldn't tell. I don't think he was a reporter, but he was with Fudge. I'm hoping he's not working for him. We need to keep an eye on that guy. Cause I swear to God, that was the same actor. Um, Oh, Filch. I don't like seeing Filch work. I mean, the thing is, he's always had it in for Harry anyway, but... Uh, I really like him, guys. I, I I would love to hear more about Filch. Quite frankly, guys, I said that, um, I think, in, maybe even in my chamber reaction, how I love the idea of... I Okay, I find that sort of character who with, with who, who relations with parents. I want to hear more about that than I even do with Hermione. And I, I Hermione's a fantastic character, guys. She really is a fantastic character. And it must have been so hard her growing up with 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 Muggle parents. Um, I, I'm being careful how I word that. And wanting to out you know become more and you know that's why she's all in the books and everything. But imagine the other way around, guys. Um, it's like a squib, squib, isn't it? I want more about that. Even if it's just a short story about Filch's childhood, I'd love that, guys. Um, but yeah, I don't like him. I certainly don't like him working with the Malfoys. Well, but you know, um, Draco and his gang. I get this Umbridge character. She's a great actress, guys. She what what a great performance in this movie. Seriously, want to know more about uh, Luna? I still haven't seen anything about this tree that's meant to be near where I live. Oh, man. Something he didn't have last time. If it's not Harry, then what is it? Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no! Don't tell me. Oh, my God! Uh, right, contact him now. Contact him now. Make sure that he, that was just a dream. Harry seems to have a lot of visions instead of dreams, which is upsetting. Professor, will you please just tell me what's happened? Everard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look at me! Oh my god. What's happening to me? Uh, awkward moment, Snape. What? Okay. He'll be able to read my mind. Read it. Control it. Oh no. Don't tell me Harry's going to do that to Arthur. It was our power of our clemency will help shield you from access or influence. I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Don't let Umbridge hear about this. Oh, Snape. Chill him out. Focus. So Snape is actually able to read his mind at this point. Oh, God, Snape. Please do, do your tricks, guys. I gotta say, guys, apparently Snape is a lot meaner in the books, guys, as in much worse. I've, uh, it's the Alan Rickman effect, I'm afraid, guys. I instantly went in with this endearing love for him. But he is, a, yeah, this is a scary lesson for Harry. Daddy's back. Oh, he's alright. This is not, this is better not be a freaking bluff, guys. <laughs> oh my god, he's been for the wars. It's like hats. A Christmas toast. It's in the Gryffindor colours. Without whom. I would not be here. So they did... Harry. Harry. I feel like this is a bluff, guys. This is really happening, right? It, it is. Okay, I, I was worried it was going to cut back and then find it Arthur dead or something. That was going to upset me. Harry Potter, friend of mudbloods and blood traitors alike. You should be using terms like that. Ranger, away with you! Of course, Master. Oh, he's his dude. Sorry about that. He never was very pleasant. He no, he's seeing mug blood. This is the Black Family Tree. Oh. I hated them rot. Bellatrix. My parents. Mother did that after I ran away. Oh. Where did you go? Your dad's. Oh. He was Bless. always welcome at the potters. When I saw Mr. Weasley attacked, I was the snake. Yeah. There was a moment when I... I wanted to... I just feel 
so angry. Yeah. All the time. What if I'm becoming bad? That's what I was worried about. You're not a bad person. Spared Wormtail. <laughs> wish <laughs> I can't say wish we hadn't done, but the world. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Oh, I like that. That's who we really are. When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. Yes. There's a few faces burned out there, guys. I got down Bellatrix, because I feel like we've learned that name for a reason. Hmm. Very intriguing. I'm glad that we're hearing more about Sirius. And he went to live with uh, James Potter. Okay, so now we're back to normal school life. And there's uh, Cho and Harry. Very good. Hagrid's back. Oh, Brent! Fantastic! I was I was thinking we wouldn't see any more of him in this one, actually. <laughs> Let's go and fill him in. Careful now, guys. You've got to step in all sorts of doo-doo running across a field like that. God, the scenery in these movies is beautiful. To tell me where you've been. I told you. A bit of fresh air, you know. As gamekeeper, fresh air must be difficult to come by. <laughs> You're a terrible liar, Hagrid. You? Oh. Is that a magic perfume? Maybe? This is top secret. What's happened to his face? Dumbledore sent me to parley with the giants. Giants? Giants? Well, they're not that hard to fight, to be perfectly honest. They're so big, see? Ha! <laughs> convince them. Lovely okay. seeing Fang back. Oh, my goodness. What a cutie. Just like last time. Oh, man. There's a storm coming, Harry. Yeah. Very Terminator there. Whoa, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I know her. That's I, okay. I recognise that actress. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. I don't. I'm terrible at actresses' names. I'm so sorry. But is this Bellatrix? I get this must be Bellatrix. She definitely seems nuts. Oh, this is Azkaban. I'm so glad we get to see it. That is so awesome. It's in the middle of the sea. Every bloomer movie now. Personal experience of escaping from Azkaban. There he is again, he's working with Fudge. Bellatrix Lestrade. Cousin, I apologise. There she is. She's got a Helena Bonner Carter, is that her name? I'm sorry if it isn't, guys, I'm terrible with names. I wanted to apologise. Oh, good man, Seamus, I'm glad. Me, that is her. I'm glad, Seamus. It's really nice seeing Seamus in this. Uh, uh, yeah, having him having a bit more of a character. There's that picture again. Bellatrix Lestrange. I used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. Oh, bless them. I'm quite proud to be their son. Yeah, you should be, Neville. But I want to give him a hug, guys. We're going to make them proud, Neville. They already would be. Keep trying, Seamus. They're not going to try and make their own Patronuses, surely. They are! Oh, my goodness. I wonder what they're all going to be. Yep. Yeah. Dementors. Oh, wow! Ginny! Are you kidding me? Ron, what you got? It's not a rat again, is it? It's a doggo! Oh, a rabbit would be an amazing one as well. Find out what mine is in my video, which I posted uh, in, in the playlist, guys. We find out my wand and my Patronus. Fantastic! I'm loving to see all these Patronuses. Patroni. The bunny one is a good one. Giants? I thought that they were... Ah, uh, that's not good. Still holding. Oh, no. Nigel, get your face away from there. Oh no. I mean, they're, they're, they're due to get expelled here, aren't they? Oh no. Yeah, they said they were giving her a hard time. There he is. You know who? Never fooled us for a minute. The minutes. This guy's familiar. No, Professor. He had nothing to do with it. It was me. Parchment clearly says Dumbledore's army. I instructed Harry to form this organization, and I, and I alone, am responsible for its activity. You will escort Dumbledore to Azkaban. Oh, God. You seem to be laboring under the delusion that I'm going to come quietly. Well, I can tell you this. Fight scene. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. Oh, folks. Oh! I'm guessing he's not dead. <laughs> That'll be one way of going out. You may not like him, Minister. Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> Dumbledore's got style is the greatest sentence of all time. Writing that one down. 
Oh. Oh. Questioning about suspected illicit activities. All the paintings are getting taken away? Oh, this is horrible, guys. Skeleton in the background. Oh, no. Oh, I see. So he's, he's taking away the portals for them to go around. Very interesting. She's a great character, guys. I can't front, but I do hate her. <laughs> I really do. Oh, Cho. I want to have. I want a dialogue between Harry and her because that, that that's really upsetting. Oh, don't! It's not a freaking fault, guys. For God's sake. Oh. I feel really bad for her. I really do. She didn't want to do it, guys. Oh, Hagrid. Subtle. Oh, we're back here again at night. He's blooming obsessed, guys. Giant, giants. Oh, centaurs! I saw something about centaurs actually on the papers. Dangerous at the best of times. Ministry restricts their territory much more. They're going to have a full uprising on their hands. Oh, that's not good. What's going on? I'll likely be getting the sack any day now. I just couldn't leave without telling someone about it. Oh, giants! Giants! Bobby. Bobby! <laughs> I do. End of this trilogy. Oh my goodness. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <coughs> okay, so these things are dumb giants then. Well, half brother, really. What? Bad. On the mother's side. No. Oh. Robbie, that is not polite. Could do something. Oh god. Robbie. Robbie is actually genuinely terrifying. Put me down. You're the lady. No. She'll be a very good dog trainer. Or will she? Okay, I thought she's just going to be cut to a shot of the forest and just see Hermione's tiny body go Wah! through the sky. Sorry. You just stay away from her. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Bit late. Oh, thank you very much. I was worried that was part of the car from Chambers then. Thank you. Oh, that's a way of saying thank you, I guess. You will look after him, won't you? Oh dear. Of course they'll look after him. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Being oh. sentimental. Oh, that's actually from. Oh. Private. Not to me. You're just like your father. Don't say a word against my father. Weak. I'm not weak. Weak. Can prove it. Discipline. He knows what he's doing, guys. Snape knows what he's doing. I want to know more about his relationship with James. Stop it! The Dark Lord isn't resting. Exactly. My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. What? Potato! Come on, Mooney. Spill the armor. No! No! Oh my god, that's actually really upset me, guys. I'm sorry, guys, but that's actually... That, I was not expecting that. Good. That hit me like a freaking truck, guys. I didn't expect that. That was really sad. He, 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 nowadays, he only ever hears good things about his parents, guys. But, you know, they, they, are, they are human, even if they are wizards and witches. I've always felt our futures lay outside the world of academic achievement. Be thinking exactly the same. Guys, don't. I mean, what what are they gonna do? Guys, that hit me hard. That shot of S Snape getting bullied. I really did. It's not Rob, surely. I guess it could be a, a Death Eater, maybe. If she genuinely doesn't believe that Voldemort's about. Oh, it's the, it's the twins. What are they up to? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I love the twins, guys. They're great characters. Wow, a bit dangerous. I guess they're not real fireworks, so it's okay. Oh, okay. They, they are dangerous then. Rebels without a cord. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Phil, just going to take a while to clean up. They are going to be in so much trouble. It's... 
That is metal. <laughs> Roll credits. That's the end of Umbridge, guys. I kind of, I kind of do hope we get to see the last of her in this, because she is getting on my wick. Rebellion complete. Fantastic, and they're out of here. They're my heroes, guys. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's going to be bad things to happen following, but this makes me very, very happy. Yeah, Weasley. Hope it doesn't get their dad in trouble. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh no. I knew the happiness couldn't last too long. He's gonna see Voldemort again, isn't he? Huh? What did he just pass? Is it he's passed out? Uh get him out of there, guys. Get him to safety. Serious. Harry, are you sure? I saw it. Something he didn't have the last time. Mystery. Harry, oh, oh. Listen. What if Voldemort meant for you to see this? He's only hurting Sirius because he's trying to get to you. Very yes, good is. point. Hermione's right, but they, they they've got to do something. The order if you can. Are you mental? We're going with you. It's too dangerous. We're in this together. Exactly, but Harry. You are. They tied him to the chair. Please, it's in Gryffindor colours. Snape, yes. The time has come for answers. I'm oh. afraid you've used up all my stores interrogating students. The last of it on Miss Chen. You see? I hope you all feel really guilty. Unless he wishes. He's got Padfoot at the place where it's hidden. And what is he talking about, Snape? No idea. You'd think that Sirius was one of those bullying him as well. He said about like go and play we had chemistry set, was that? The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's what? No 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 no. What? This is a Azkaban worthy crime, dude. Tell her, Harry! Tell me what? You're a prick. Well, if you won't tell her where it is, I will. Hermione bluffing. Where what is? How much further? Rob! Not far. Rob's gonna step on her. I knew she was I knew she had something up her sleeve. Improvising. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's been Oh no. Oh god no. Um, there isn't one, is there? Could do that spider coming back about now. You know. I thought I thought a foot was going to come down or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I really did, guys. Oh, yeah, we got a bit of like you know a land barrier issue to have a word with you. Oh God, oh, she's Lord. standing behind the students. <laughs> How dare you! Yes. Rob, the main character, guys. And she's still got a wand. Please tell me she dropped her wand. Looks like she did. Oh, God. They do speak English. Well, one, the one of the first one did. Tell them I need their wand. I'm sorry, Professor. I, screw you. Not tell lies. Oh! <laughs> what a line. What a line. I love it. I love it. Hermione, serious. Yeah, you need to get out of there, guys. You really do. So, how are we getting to London? Everything is done. The whole gang's going? Look, I've got you into enough trouble as it is. No, you haven't, Harry. I mean, you have, oh, but you haven't. Means... Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. I agree. <laughs> Dumbledore did say at the end of the Goblet, guys, you are not alone. This is... Oh! What? So they're not going to be able to see these things, though, right? So everyone's just, like, flying on nothing, then, apart from Harry and Luna. Oh, she's chilling. She's relaxing, guys. Chillaxing, I should say. Wow, that was that was a great exit for Umbridge. I, I, I'm sure we'll see her again. But that was a hilarious exit. Hopefully she's done for this movie at least now. Loving this team up. Nice that Luna's there as well. No wonder they needed Sirius to, to identify which one it is. I'm wondering if uh, Bellatrix is going to be here. Everyone's blooming and escaping from Azkaban, guys. A couple of movies ago, no one had ever done it before. Oh, of course, he saw the number. 95. He's got to be missing. He should be here. He's got your name on it. Oh, well spotted. I'm hoping this is going to be a nice thing. For neither can live while the other survives. Harry! What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, it's the guy from Flash Gordon. Reality. <laughs> oh, 
know what tricks are strange. Oh no, level. How's mum and dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. <laughs> Why did Voldemort need me to come and get this? There's one behind you, dude. Oh man, they're everywhere. What was the reason for the connection between you and the Dark Lord? All the answers are there. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Right. It's only going to be bad news, Harry. Oh my goodness, those masks. I guess I can wait a little longer. Now! Yes! Go, go, go! Okay, fantastic. Get out of there, Harry. Wow. Oh, Luna! Luna's on her own! Oh, Luna! What the hell? Oh! Okay, Luna's quite powerful then. That guy ain't landed yet. Neville freaking stood up just now, guys. I really love Neville's character. I really do. What a crazy location for a fight scene, guys. Yeah, good good use of environment there. That's with Jenny. Oh, balls. Literally. Uh, Ginny. Ginny. You messed up. G Luna! Look, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ginny, what have you done? Oh my god, no! Uh-oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Well, what a crazy area this is. Please hurry. Oh no. Get behind me. Oh, what a squad, guys. Oh, don't tell me he's on his own now. There's someone in the back. Oh no. Oh no. I'm hoping Dumbledore's going to make an entrance here, guys, because we need him now. We need someone to help them here, guys. I don't think he's going to get out of this on his own. Oh no! Get away from my godson. Ah! <laughs> yes, here we go! Oh my god, yes! Yes, please! Wizard fight. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope that was the real one. I don't want Harry to find out more about his this situation. Not now. Oh yes, Game of Thrones is back! I want you to take the others and get out of here. Now let me take it from here. Oh no. Oh no, someone's going down here, guys. Oh, good to see proper booty now. It's Billy Armour. Nice one, James. James? <laughs> uh oh. No, that was the. Oh no, no. That was. It was the. Yeah, it was the same curse. The, the, the same spell that did Cedric again. By his own relative as well. Oh, you're kidding me. Looping get after him. Stop him. She's <laughs> still got a one, Harry. I think. I've got to mean it, Harry. Oh, no. Harry, don't do it. Of course, this is a freaking turning to the dark side trick. Know the spell, Harry. Oh, he's trying to get him to do one of the uh, unforget unforgivable curses. Do it. <laughs> Weak. Oh, thank God, Dumbledore. Oh, man, we're not going to... If you were to come here tonight, Tom. Oh, man. Dumbledore versus Voldemort, guys. Ah, oh, Beltrix is out of there, damn it. How you should get out of there. We're not going to lose Sirius and Dumbledore here, surely. Whoa. That's a heck of a spell. Oh my goodness! Nice counter. Oh my! Yes! Okay. Manipulating with water. Don't drown him. I mean, I guess you could drown him, I guess. Whoa! This fight is insane! Oh god, what? Oh no, oh no, Dumbledore, do something! He didn't even knock his hat off, dude. Looks like he was surprised by how powerful Dumbledore was. Oh no. Oh my god, what's happening? You've lost all that. You've got to be kidding me. This is all set up to corrupt him. Whoa! Look at me. Oh my goodness. 
You haven't lost everyone, dude. And you'll never know love. And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> oh, well done, Harry. Oh, thank God. Do you believe him now, Fudge? He's back. Yeah, he's back, Fudge, and this is all your fault. I don't, but I thought he was, he was actually being that freaking naive. Yes, please, let him resign. Please, God, let him uh, resign after that. Hogwarts oh, headmaster reinstated. God damn, guys. I thought we we're gonna lose more than serious, but that is heartbreaking. It's very reminiscent of the end of the last movie. After Cedric, this time serious. It's my fault. No, I thought by distancing myself from you, you'd be less tempted. Neither one can live while the other one survives. One of us is gonna to have to kill the other. After all you've suffered, I didn't want to cause you any more pain. I care too much about you. Oh, another painting is back again. Poor Harry, guys. So this is his properly chosen one to actually at least go up against Sirius. And hope, okay, Filch is still here. Thank goodness. I'm sorry about your godfather, Harry. Oh, bless. What a fascinating character. Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. If not always in the way we expect. <laughs> I think I'll just go have some pudding. Wow, she is bizarre, guys. I didn't expect her anything like this. We didn't get a scene with Cho again. But even though we've got a fight ahead of us, there's Cho. We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. It's each other. Yeah. Something worth fighting for. Ah. And each other, to be fair, Harry. I think my line was better, to be honest. Wow, what a roller coaster this one's been, guys. And that looks like that's where we're going to be leaving it. It is. I'm so sad about Sirius, guys. Quite frankly, at one point there, I thought it was going to be Dumbledore as well. Quite frankly. That got tense at the end there. I'm so glad that Umbridge got what was coming to her. I think that we will definitely see her again. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit let down that we didn't get a scene with Cho again. Because I felt terrible for her. Even when she was clearly not doing it, you know, because she wanted to. And the fact that you know, Umbridge has been using that um, that truth serum on all the students and everything, I feel really bad for her. I really do. I would have liked there to have been a scene where she like, you know, where like says, "Oh yeah, by by the way, sorry about," because she was getting sh like shoved around in the hallway and everything. Poor girl. But yeah, turned out that she was like, you know, it wasn't her fault. Of course, it wasn't her fault. I'm so glad that Filch is still there, guys, because I saw in the picture with um, Umbridge. Of course, um, he said Umbridge uh, was suspended. So she did get out of there, and then she was like ripped apart by the Zendors and everything. Um, I was worried that Filch would, for some reason, be going as well, but no, he's still there. I'm really glad. I do love his character, guys. Again, Mrs. Norris had green eyes in one scene, guys. So I'm guessing that he just, it, she just changes her eye color occasionally. It makes sense. It's, it's all wizardry. I really enjoyed this one, guys. It got so hectic at the end during the last battle scene that I was worried that I was gonna like miss like dialogue or something, but. It was interesting. It legit seemed like Voldemort was not expecting Dumbledore to be as powerful as he actually was. But he, he managed to, you know, infect Harry's brain. But, you know, I'm so glad. This is the thing, guys. Several times. I don't know if I've been... I've, I don't know if I've said it in these videos or not. But several times when Harry feels like... He says how alone he is. And how, like, you know... And when Sirius came along, the only family he had is Sirius... All those times I was thinking, you still got your friends though, Harry. And that shot of, of all the different movies up to now of Hermione and Ron, that got me. That was so sweet. That was really, really sweet. I'll say one scene that really freaking got me, guys, was the, was the bit with Snake, guys. I'll be honest, guys, I don't like, you know, it, seeing bullying, bullying in movies and, and TV and everything does upset me, guys. I hate that sort of thing. I think it's, like, horrible. But for Snape to be the victim of it by James, and I presume by Sirius, and maybe even Lupin, 
I don't know. I, I I need to go back and have a look at some st stills, guys. I can't imagine Lupin would have been there because Lupin was had his own struggles at that point. But but poor Snape, that was heartbreaking. That bit that that brought a, a tear to my eye, guys. That really did. Bellatrix, and she got out of there as well, guys. It's like damn it. Very similar to Wormtail, like you know, being able to get out of there at the last moment. We didn't see him at all in this. We saw him in the picture, of course, um, when it showed the whole like year group and everything. I need to have a look at that picture, guys. I really do need to have a look at that picture. I hated Umbridge, guys. What a great performance by that actress. Seriously, she was fantastic in this. I, she was making me pull my hair out. I was so frustrated with her, seriously. And that training montage with all the students and everything, that could be my favorite scene from the entire episode, uh, entire movie, guys. That made me so happy. And it had them all using their Patronuses and everything. We need to go and see what uh, what Patronuses everyone had. Luna had a rabbit. I think Ron had a dog. I don't know if we saw Hermione's. That arch is very interesting. We didn't hear anything about it. But when Sirius had the, um, the death curse put on him, he like... He himself floated into the arch. So it wasn't like his soul or anything, it was his body. So I'm sure there will be some context explained around that, but poor Harry. I really like the stuff with Dumbledore, like, you know, with, with uh, Voldemort. That was a heck of a battle scene. Those were some fast spells they were getting knocked off right there. I love the, the, the student rebellion. And the twins, that was such a great scene as well, when they just completely messed up the uh, the exam. That was that made me smile as well. They are great characters, guys. I always enjoy scenes with them in. But poor Cho. I hope that she's back in the next one, because we need it. Much like Snape. I've said this a couple of times, actually, where it's like, ah, Snape's the, the bad guy. But, but then, oh no, it turns out he wasn't. But we don't have that moment of, oh, by the way, sorry about that, Snape. But this one, it was Cho's turn to, to have that done. I would have liked to see where, like, particularly Harry, but quite frankly, everyone. Like, say, sorry, Cho, we didn't realise that. They were using things which, you know, previously was not allowed to be used on students, as Snape said, to, to get her to spill the beans about the room of requirement, which, quite frankly, is a freaking awesome thing, guys. One thing I've noticed is that we never see, like, uh, like you know, Apparently Hermione had the ti the, the time jumping um, thing. Uh, she had to give it back to McGonagall. Um, but yeah, we didn't see anything about the uh, Mers Mortar map or whatever. You know, you know what I mean. Like the map and um, the sword from Chamber of Secrets. I thought that was going to be like like a recurring thing. We got all these things coming in, but then we don't really see them again. Apart from the the invisibility hood that we just which we've seen a couple of times. Very interesting. And also, what's Ron's new familiar? Surely you have to have a familiar to go to Hogwarts, right? Maybe we'll find out next time. But you will, guys, thank you all so much. I'm going to leave it there. This was a treat. It really was. So sad about Sirius. That, that, that right. But yeah, I am generally really gutted about him. What a great character he was. But I did feel like there was going to be a death in this one. I actually didn't think it would be him, though. But unfortunately... We're down a black, guys, but we gained a black with Blooming Bellatrix, who, again, I hate. You know what this mo with these movie series do? They make you really hate the villains really well. I I want Neville to, to be the one to... Oh, no, that, and that's revenge, though. And that's what Voldemort was trying to push Harry into doing. It's intriguing, guys. This is great. I'm guessing the tree thing was the thing that Sirius was showing Harry. So I presume that that is now maybe in an exhibition near where near where i live but um uh, i was expecting natural tree so i've looked it up very nice it isn't the uh it isn't like an exhibition it is an actual tree that is in this movie it's actually the tree where uh child snape is getting bullied uh that is actually like very close to where i live and i had no idea which is quite fascinating but there we go but that is that specific tree uh which uh yeah there you go very interesting uh okay guys on to the next one, which I believe is called... I, I, I don't know. I will go and find out what it is before checking it out. But yes, I'll try and get that to you when I can, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed my reaction. And yeah, on to episode six. My goodness, we're getting through these.
We really are, guys. We ne oh, man. We're at the tail end already. Okay, guys. Please like and subscribe. All that goes up. I'm Gamer, and I'll see you next time.